<laughs> what is up guys today we are in animal kingdom i have not been back to animal yet so i'm super excited the park just opened a few minutes ago it's a couple minutes past eight uh, and also we're gonna play with the new camera so that's exciting We're actually going to be meeting my buddy Chase here. He should be here in just a little bit. But until then, I'm actually walking down towards Africa. We'll probably try to ride flight like as soon as he gets here. And then we want to ride Everest. And I would like to try to ride Dinosaur too. When we were looking at the wait times from yesterday, uh, they weren't bad at all. So that all should be achievable. decorated for Christmas, back kind of at the main entrance area. I love the little animal luminaries. I'm not Thank sure you if you can tell, they actually... Oops. Just a few reminders. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Guests that do not comply.
Alright guys, so I did a ton, which you just saw. Uh, I was with my, one of my buddies, Chase, so I didn't want to like be actually vlogging the whole time, but we rode like half the rides here. Uh, we hit Everest right away, uh, probably about 8.20 or so, 8.30, and then we went right over to Dinosaur, walked on both of those right away. We went and hit Flight of Passage. It was about a 50 minute wait uh, around nah, a little bit after 9 o'clock. I was about spot on 50 minutes by the time we got on the ride, so that was pretty cool. Uh, really not bad for that ride. It was Chase's first time on it. Uh, he enjoyed it, and I always enjoy it. And after that, we did the safari, which was pretty solid safari. I think almost all the animals are out. Uh, lions were not out, though, but still pretty cool. And then we ate lunch at Flame Tree Barbecue. 
Uh, it was easy that their outside eating has so much space, so it's really easy to be spaced out. And they still have like half the tables closed off with signs saying, hey, you can't eat here. Uh, so it was awesome, just like a nice quiet place to eat by the water. They do have like some music and stuff going on in the uh, middle of the water there. We just went and I walked the Tree of Life walk where you can kind of get a little bit closer to the Tree of Life, see some of the animal details in there. I always like doing that. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's just cool to like marvel at the artwork that is the Tree of Life. Uh, definitely an easy thing I would recommend to do. Usually there's not a lot of people moving around through it. But now I thought I'd just do a quick walk around the park, kind of look at some of the animals and whatnot before we head out. Checking out this little lemur hanging out here. No Komodo dragons out because it is too cold. It is. Uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is right now. I'll have to check. But we're walking through like the Asian uh, safari trek. See some of the animals. Uh, this is where they'll have the tigers. Let's see here. Currently, it is 55 degrees. Uh, when I got here, it was like low 40s though. Actually, I have a big one up here. It's a little guy. I believe we're walking up to the tiger inclusion now. Yeah. 
tigers up here. They're on like tree platforms. Still hunting the tigers apparently. Got some water buffalo out over here. Just lounging in the sun. Again, walking through. I think we should be able to see a tiger out on one of these sides here. So he's actually way out there. Kind of hard to see. Oh, there he is. Way out there. He's just playing with his toys. I'm kind of down for this now. <laughs> Ducks in here. Little guys in here. Pretty, pretty colored one back. Up here too. Just finished walking through the Asia, like animal walk track, forget the actual name. Kind of chilling. This is like a nice quiet spot. You can hear the, uh, right behind me, back through this little uh, greenery patch is like where they load the Cali River Rapids. So you can hear that pretty distinctly behind me, but that's okay. Still a nice, like, relatively quiet area over here. You can see there's no one coming out of the animal safari right now. And then over on the other side of me here, there's also no one. So yeah, just coming down to sit. It's been like an awesome day. Rode pretty much everything that I would consider important to ride. Um, safari, Flight of Passage, Everest, Dinosaur. So I want to kind of take my way around Everest and maybe see they're like doing music and stuff and different characters going around the little lagoon there. So I'm gonna go see what's going on there, basically. Pocahontas, way out there, and Nico.
All right, guys. So I am headed back to my car. I had a pretty successful day, I'd say. I mean, this is the most rides I've ridden in a single park on a day in like, even probably before the parks closed, so over a year. So I had quite the awesome time. Uh, crowds were fairly low. Uh, there were some crowded areas, especially later in the day, like especially once I was headed out, um, kind of in that main tree of life area, especially over by Flame Tree. Uh, people like waiting to get their lunch. There was quite a bit of crowding there. Still not terrible. And back by Everest, there was a fair amount of crowds. Again, nothing crazy, just kind of not like people not quite watching where they were going or people kind of stuck trying to go both ways in the same place. That sort of thing. Nothing unusual for Disney by any means. But overall, it was good. But that is all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. All that fun YouTube-y stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.